Hey guys, so I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm checking in on the, the Rotten Tomatoes for Arctic Dogs and for some reason it's at a 14%. The audience thinks it's 58%, but the critics, the critics say 14%. And you know what? This is just another case of liberal Hollywood just fucking with a good movie. Arctic Dogs, if, if it wasn't, if it was 14%, do you think 212 people would say it was 58%? Come on. So, so let's just, let's look at, let's look at, we got Arctic Dogs videos, the photos, the movie info, the cast. Look at that. This man tried to kill his wife. Why would you give this 14%? That is drama. She had a really good, she had a really good Halloween costume. Come on. This is like, Alec Baldwin, he plays Trump on SNL. I thought the liberals love him. John Cleese, Monty Python, come on. How are you going to give this a 14%? Critic reviews. There's really not much to recommend about this film. The animation lacks texture. Blah, blah, blah. Well, why don't you sit there in your Hollywood high horse, Katie, whatever. Frank says, lacking much in the way of humor or charm, the film culminates with the sort of frantic action-laden blah, blah, blah. So guess what, Frank? Guess what? Top critic? More like critically on top of a pile of poop. Because that's where you are, Frank. There we go. There we go. William. William has a fresh... The story is best when it's playful and odd, and only truly pops when Cleese is a center. Come on, man! Only when Cleese is. I, I get it. Like Cleese is a fucking. He's a. He's a masterpiece. Strong voice cast can't save Bland and Sandy. Sandy, go go bury your head in the sand, Sandy.